Welcome back. Well, it's day four of our week-long special on powerful business women in Asia. Today, an American woman who came to Asia to start a business she says was a bit like selling ice to the Eskimos. I recently caught up with TWGT co-founder Miranda Barnes. Miranda Barnes knows luxury. Even before she co-founded TWGT in 2008, she was already immersed in the world of elegant indulgence, concocting fragrances and strategizing with luxury fashion brands. So I knew about luxury packaging. I knew how you were supposed to talk about luxury products, um, how important the ceremony was and, and, and the small little details. And that eye for luxury is everywhere, from TWG's packaging to the colors to the company's website. Miranda's touch of sophistication, along with the sourcing of premium tea leaves, has proven the perfect blend. In just seven years, TWG has gone from three employees to 3,000, from one salon in Singapore to 44 stretching across 15 countries. And last year, another milestone. TWG became the very first international tea company to open tea salons and retail boutiques in mainland China. You're American. There's not a huge tea culture in the United States. And you set up this tea company in Asia. How difficult was that? Well, it was in the beginning a bit of a scary challenge because it was like selling ice to the Eskimos, right? Here we are coming from overseas to sell a product to Asia and the Asians are the connoisseurs of tea. But then at the same time, I sometimes feel that it takes some, an, a foreigner to see the value and the beauty in a product that has become very mundane. It was really your husband, Taha, that was the tea connoisseur. He'd been in the industry for a really long time. Did you feel like you were going to be in his shadow or that you were going to be seen as the connoisseur's wife? Oh, for sure. And I was. I think for a very, uh, well, no, I would say a very long time, but I would say for, uh, for the first couple of years. Uh, I actually cherished that role for a couple of years because I felt like, okay, this is my time to really invest myself in learning about the product. Uh, but it wasn't fun all the time. Um, there, were, there were moments, you know, when, you, when it, you're very obviously, you know, greeted in a, in a secondary capacity. You know, you go into a meeting and, ah, Mr. Taha, you know, and then, oh, you know, Miranda. You know. I even changed my, my, my last name. I don't, I don't use my husband's last name, which I love. Um, on my business cards because I said, you know, I need to, ha I be, I need to be my own entity, my own, um, uh, my own self. I think if you talk to a lot of people, they'll say, I enjoy going to work because it gives me, uh, first of all, a chance to excel as an individual, but also a chance to be away from my family and, and do my own thing and clear my mind, but you guys don't have that. Well, especially not in the beginning. In the beginning, we were literally working face to face. So we had two desks that were, you know, face to face. So yeah, there was no relief. And I think that um, it was a, one of our partners who said, you know what, Miranda, it's probably a good idea that you find your own, um, your own world. I had a lot of expertise. I just didn't. It, it just. I didn't have the confidence to to express it. And uh, I also wanted to boost up my husband. You know, which is you know, it's, it's like, hey, no, you're you're doing a great job. You know, and I think this is the, the dilemma of a lot of women. You know, they're there to. They've got somebody who has wonderful assets, and they're sitting there wanting to you know to assist them and help them. And isn't that the role of a wife? You know, uh, and they kind of forget about. Oh yeah, but I actually have my own talents, and you know, I'm not. If you don't talk about them, people won't appreciate them. So it, it's all a question of how you enter in a room, how you talk about yourself, how you express yourself. Um, and I think I, I grew to learn how to do that. And I think that oftentimes it's, you know, somehow you just have to learn to be very more confident and to assert yourself um, in the way that suits best your personality. Oh, Tony, that's a perfect blend for success. But what's interesting is that the name TWG has nothing to do with tea. Yes, that's right. A little bit of trivia here. You would think that the T in TWG would stand for tea, but it doesn't actually stand for that at all. It stands for, it's an article, it's the. It actually, TWG stands for the Wellness Group. So the full name is the Wellness Group Tea Company, which I guess 
does um, have to do with tea, because some would argue that tea is quite good for one's wellness. <laughs> I also noticed the date, it was at 1837 just popped up there. I guess it hasn't been around for that long, though, has it? No, no, it hasn't. That actually uh, has to do with when the first tea trading post was actually established here in Singapore. Ah, so now you know.